Hey everyone, thanks for checking out this video. Now this is a very different video than what I'm used to doing. It's one of the very first times that I've ever done a painting video, but uh, here it is. The very first video is going to be painting the crankbait, and then the next video that will follow that is where we're out fishing with it. What's going on everybody? You've heard of Catch and Cook. Well, this is going to be a paint and catch video. Um, so what I've got today is a um, crayfish crankbait blank that I got from Cedar Run Outdoors. Kind of mimics the uh, Rebel Crawfish, um, the Rebel Wee Craw, I think is actually what it is. It's got a little bit, it's a little bit bigger profile. It's got a lot bigger bill on it, which is uh, awesome, you know, for the creeks that I fish. And I actually developed this color that we're about to paint from uh, my, my five-year-old daughter actually helped me with it. And uh, so this is uh, pretty cool to be painting. Um, she was diving around in the creek with a little cheap snorkel set and uh, ignore I'm not being very careful in uh, taping this up but yeah this is what I call it's the color that I call the Cane Creek Crawl the Cane Creek Crawl she uh, she was finding crawfish and I went ahead and uh, grabbed one of those crawfish that she had found scooting across the bottom because I thought, hey, I can great, grab a great reference and uh, stupid me, I actually did not take a reference photo. I handed it to her and allowed her to hold on to it. So I kind of had to go back to that um, that picture of her holding the crawfish and it's just not the best reference photo. But it, this is a color that I have developed from actual crawfish in the creek. So. So step one is obviously, you know, we want to put a good base coat on this and I always use the Createx Opaque White for this. Flushed my gun out just a minute ago. Let's do a couple drops. Um, Okay guys, so we're going to be, uh, we've got our base coat on, let's go ahead and do a little bit of a color rundown. Uh, we're going to be going ahead and spraying this transparent sunrise yellow on first by Createx. And then we're going to blend up, we're going to, we're going to spray the entire bait, but it's mainly going to be the underbelly side. The next color we're going to spray is by Wicked Colors, and it's just Wicked Orange. We're going to take it from about halfway up and then we're going to come in and we're just going to lightly spray sepia onto this bait and then we're going to follow all of that up with a little bit of detail work um, from an opaque red and an opaque black for the eyes and then the, the claw tips so let's get started let's go ahead and get to this first color sunrise orange now with this color um, we're just going to kind of get a little bit of a tan tone. We're gonna go a lot darker on the sides and the back and maybe even spray a layer or two on there. See how it's darkening up as I'm spraying. And now for the belly and the underside here, we're just gonna just lightly coat it. Kinda leave that lower third um, with a little lighter tone. So anyways, we're done with Sunrise Yellow. Let's heat set that and then we'll get to the next color. Now we've got some Wicked Orange loaded into the gun. Okay, so we're just gonna take and we're gonna lightly spray along the sides like this, hitting kind of that top two thirds just to give it a little bit of an orange tone. Do the same thing over here and I like to spray down from this angle because whenever you're spraying like this you're actually uh, able to kind of eliminate and it, it blends so well that you're eliminating hitting that lower third of the bait that I'm wanting to blend into anyways um, but look at this right here this looks so cool it creates such an awesome depth because of the contour there I've actually been pretty impressed with these blanks I uh, did the first one that I fished with I did break the bill on it, but it was a really good day of fishing. I can tell that my tip is starting to get clogged up and I have to clean that out after I change colors. But as you can see, I'm going just a touch darker 
on the top. Okay, so we have now heat set and switched our colors out. We're going to be going to this golden sepia. And we've got the pressure turned down. But so we're going to be very, very light on the sides. In fact, I'm going to start it down here. I'm just barely opening up the gun. just want to get some shading. All I really want down there. I'm going to flop it over to this side. Do the exact same thing. Just some light, light shading. And honestly, that looks about good. Now on the back, we're going to go ahead, we're going to darken the back up. It's that center stripe. Center stripe, yeah, I mean, basically that's what it is. Get it really dark on that center area there, and maybe even right here. Okay, so now I'm just going to take and kind of shade those in. We're going to go to this side. We're going to do the exact same thing. And let me see if I can actually get it to where I can get it on the big camera as well. Oh, my finger got stuck. Okay, we're going to go ahead and hit this little. Now, something that I like to do, I'm actually going to turn my pressure up a little bit. I left this super light. And then from afar, I'm just going to open the thing wide open and we're going to just kind of speckle it, just shade it a little bit. And I think, do it a little bit right there. A little bit on this side. Now that is just a little bit darker than what I wanted to go, but I am pretty happy with it. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the eyes first, and my thing is uh, is getting a little un uneven here. Let's see if I can squeeze up enough just to get on the tip. Still didn't get it on the tip. Oh, did not mean to do that. I'm glad it wasn't on the crawl though. So I'm just gonna kind of get the tip and touch it, get a little bit of it off. But I mean literally we just you could color this in with a sharpie probably too um, paint the other eye quickly I'm just going to take this towel clean off my brush and we're going to do the red for the claw tips tip here Very, very happy with the way this turned out. Uh, it's awesome, I think. It's got some great detail. I just love these little crevices here. But we're ready for some clear coat, some hooks, and let's get it out there on the water to do some fishing. Well, I got hooks and split rings loaded up on this bad boy, and we are ready to head to the creek. I'm gonna go pick up a buddy, and then we're gonna get rolling. See if we can catch a couple of fish on the crankbait we just painted.